Welcome back. In the last video we talked about how we can name different alkanols and specifically we went to the example of ethanol. And the reason why I gave a specific example of ethanol was because we were discussing ethanol in great detail in this video. So I'll go over the actual syllabus dot point. It says describe the dehydration of ethanol to ethylene and identify the need for catalysts in the process and the catalyst used. This kind of has two steps to slow stop point. First it says describe the use, describe uh, sorry, describe the dehydration of ethanol to ethylene, and also identify the need for a catalyst in the process and the catalyst used. So we'll describe the dehydration of ethanol to ethylene first. Um, here we have the chemical structure of ethanol. Remember the difference between ethanol and ethane was simply that OH group here. So we have an OH group, which ethane does not have. But if we have a catalyst and high temperatures, so we need to have high temperatures and a catalyst, which in this case is concentrated sulfuric acid. And we go from ethanol to ethylene, which is this here. And if anyone watched some of the earlier ones, the reason why we need ethylene is because we can make plastics out of ethylene. But also important that when we go from ethanol to ethylene, we also lose a water molecule. So this word dehydration refers to the removal of water. So to go to from ethanol to ethylene, so from ethanol to ethylene, we have to have a dehydration reaction, which means we lose a water molecule. And then this double bond forms in. So here, double bond. And your ethanol did not have this double bond. Now it also says identify a need for a catalyst in this process and the catalyst used. So the catalyst is sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. And the reason why we need to have a catalyst is by itself, ethanol does not turn into ethylene. There has to be, the conditions have to be right, ethanol to turn into ethylene, and that requires a catalyst. So identify the need for a catalyst used. We need to have that catalyst to, because otherwise the reaction wouldn't go ahead by itself. Right? And here, down here, I've got the chemical equation. Now, C2H5OH, this was ethanol, the chemical equation for ethanol. And in the presence of the concentrated sulfuric acid, which is this part here, ethanol will turn into ethylene and also that water molecule. So this is the ethylene here. And here's our water molecule. This is our water here. And also important is the fact that here it says gaseous. So usually ethanol is actually liquid, but because of those high temperatures, We've made it into the gas form, which is important because if it weren't in the gas form, it wouldn't actually go from ethanol into ethylene. Right, so describe the dehydration of ethanol to ethylene. We have an ethanol molecule here. In the presence of this catalyst, sulfuric acid, it also has to be concentrated, so concentrated sulfuric acid. We go from ethanol into ethylene, and that is a dehydration reaction, which means we lose a water molecule. The chemical equation is C2H5OH, which is gas. In the presence of that concentrated sulfuric acid, turns into ethylene and water. So yeah, so that was describing the dehydration reaction. And the catalyst used is concentrated sulfuric acid. And the reason why we need to have that catalyst is because if without the catalyst, a catalyst is something that speeds up a reaction. So catalyst speeds up a reaction. And without that catalyst, the actual reaction wouldn't go ahead. Speeds up reaction. Yes, yeah, so I hope that was useful.